everyone, just a short update today. Uh, I'm sat at a hotel waiting for Susan, and uh, it's a perfect hotel for a destination charger. And uh, I have mentioned to them before, um, and asked them have they got EV charge points, which they don't yet. But it's it's a lovely country position, there's lots of tourism here, great restaurant, great hotel, and no EV charge points. So all the people like ourselves that have EVs and are just looking for somewhere to go, um, we can spend our money at a place like this because we haven't had to pay petrol or diesel to get there. It's almost for free. Um, and if they had charge points here that gave you the electricity for free, then you would choose to come here rather than anywhere else. So yeah, Norfolk Mead Hotel, get yourself some charge points. You really need them. Anyway, what am I talking about today? I want to talk about the charging timing issue, the timer problem that I had with the Kona Electric. And uh, basically it's fixed. So a big thank you to Izzy Wizzy Ionic on Twitter for being the first person to point out the parameter on the Zappi charger that needed to be changed. And of course to My Energy for um, responding to me at the weekend. Thank you, Jordan, so much. It is appreciated. And then Robin, who got back to me with the full technical answer as to what was going on and what was safe for me to change. So thank you all so very, very much. Also to Robin, another Robin from uh, Hyundai and the press team for keeping in touch with me and submitting the query on through into the technical side of Hyundai. So I do appreciate all the help. I'm just really pleased now that uh, we've got a resolution and it was nice and easy. So the problem fixed, I'll uh, show you in a quick video now um, what I changed and uh, a quick test to show that it obviously works. So what we're looking for is other settings then advanced and compatibility mode at the bottom. The first option, active, which needs to be off. And finally for the test, plugging it in, yep it ramps up pretty quick to the uh, right charge rate and the time, one and a half hours, that's right, fixed. It has made me think during the process, though, I wonder what's going to happen in the future, that um, we've got all these traditional car manufacturers, you know, Volkswagen and Vauxhall and Ford and Hyundai and Nissan and Renault, and they are all got processes in place for supporting their customers that are relevant to ICE cars. So what we do is we submit the problem through to the dealer, and the dealer looks at the problem and tries to resolve it, and then if they can't, they get in touch with the manufacturer. Well, typically, I would guess that that's because the manufacturer... Um, would rely on the dealer to resolve a lot of problems because they would be mechanical. Well, now they're not mechanical. A lot of the problems are software related because there's more software in the car that can have issues than there probably is on the mechanical side. So I wonder now if all these traditional car manufacturers need to consider changing their processes to um, have better ways to engage with customers for the submission of problems and for the update of how they're being resolved and then finally getting the fixes over the air like Tesla does. It's been food for thought going through my first problem with Hyundai and uh, seeing how things go. But on the issue of the charger, uh, yeah, I'm really, really grateful to my energy and I am very, very happy to see how they've reacted with the first issue that I've had to do with charging with my car. And when I visited them in Lincolnshire, uh, that came across that they cared. They cared about the product, they cared about the customers. And even though they're extremely busy growing the business, they've got time for you. And that I like and that agility that they have to be able to respond very, very quickly and help you get problems resolved. That was why I went with my energy and the Zappi charger in the first place so I feel very happy to have made the decision and uh, to see the service come through the other side. Thank you very much again to everyone that's been helping me. Take care for now. See you again soon. Bye bye.